The zone system can help you understand tone values and exposure. This system divides tone into 11 zones, with zone 0 being black and zone 10 being white. It may seem overcomplicated, so in this video I want to simplify it and show you how you can make practical use of it. In the 1940s, Ansel Adams and Fred Archer developed the zone system because they wanted a more systematic approach to determining how to expose and process their films. And sure, the system was designed around film and for exposure of film, but you can also apply the same principles to digital photography. This is because light hasn't changed, and nor has the way that exposure meters work. Exposure meters still read light as though everything it's reflecting off is a mid-grey tone, and so this allows us to really continue to use the zone system in a practical way. A lot of photographers approach the zone system very methodically and scientifically. I tend to not work so much like that. I tend to take a bit more of a relaxed approach and use it as a guide rather than a set of rules. I like using the spot meter on my camera because it allows me to take a reading from a very precise part of my image. I want to read from my main subject. And then I read from the background and possibly other elements that are in my frame as well. This way, I can get an idea of the tonal range within an image. So in this instance, I'd take a reading from my face and my shirt in the background because they're quite different tones, and also from the white to the brightest area of the image. And looking at these tones, I'll get an idea of how they will relate. When I'm taking a portrait, I always set my exposure by the tone value of my subject's face taking readings from the background and from other elements will then give me an idea of the tone values of those things. No matter what colour they are, it's all about the tone that they are. So when I'm taking a portrait and I want a dark background, I know there needs to be about two or three zones difference between the light reading from my subject and the light reading from the background, no matter what tone my subject's skin is. How you set the exposure will determine how the skin tone appears. The ratio between this and the other elements in your composition will not change. Using the zone system in this way can help you learn to see tone values in a scene and consider how to set your exposure. It can also give you inspiration as to how you'll post-process your photos as well. And this is a lot different than in the days of black and white film that Ansel Adams and Fred Archer used to use because we've got so much more dynamic range in our digital images. So when we post-process them, we've got a lot more flexibility to alter those tone values. But I still believe that having an understanding of the zone system will help you to both expose and post-process your photos really well. I take a deeper dive into the zone system in an article that I've written for our website. There's a link to it in the description below if you'd like to learn more about understanding the zone system and how it can help you expose and post-process your photo. If you found this video helpful, please click that thumb icon, give us a like. And if you've not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. Click that subscribe button below, click the bell icon next to it so you can stay up to date when we release new videos. Thanks for watching.